In this video, we'll be taking a look at an old, old actuarial exam problem corresponding to problem 1.6.7s in Broberman. We'll be finding an equivalent effective annual interest rate based on a changing force of interest. Problem's not too hard, so I think we can uh, make this video shorter than normal. You've got an investment of 1,000 accumulating to a future value of 1360.86 at the end of five years. During the first year, you've got a force of interest of delta, a constant force of interest, that's exponential growth. But then it changes to another force of interest, 1.5 times delta, during each subsequent year. Find the equivalent effective annual interest rate in the first year. All right, so we've got our initial deposit of 1,000. After one year, what will be the growth factor? The growth factor will be e to the delta when the force of interest is delta, a constant e to that delta power is the growth factor. It's equal to 1 plus i. When you multiply it by 1,000, that will be the future value of 1,000 after one year. Each subsequent year, for four more years, we're going to multiply by e to the 1.5 times delta because the force of interest is 1.5 times delta during each subsequent year. This all has to equal 1360.86. Simplify first a little bit. Uh, we can divide both sides by 1,000 and get 1.36086 on the right side and 1,000 cancels on the left side. We can also multiply 4 times 1.5 delta to get 6 delta. e to the delta times e to the 6, six delta, you can add the exponents to get 7 delta, e to the 7 delta. We could solve this equation for delta, but we don't have to. Um, and in fact, thinking about what we want to solve for, it's better to think of it this way because we're after the effective annual interest rate in the first year. We're after i, where 1 plus i equals e to the delta. So we can just take the seventh root of both sides of this equation and then subtract 1. i is going to be 1.36086 to the 1 seventh power, and then subtract 1. 1 seventh is about 0.142857. Let me store that in register 0. And then I take 1.36086 to that power. Recall it from register 0. And then subtract 1. I is very close to 4.5%. And that is the answer. So that will be the end of this video.